Hello and welcome back to another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. I'm your host, Kip K. When I do the intros and outros to these videos, I pretty much just ad lib it. I kind of know what I want to say, so I just run with it. But if you had a lot of information or a long script that you needed to deliver on camera, then the best way to do that is with a teleprompter. A lot of people will use cue cards and put them under the lens, but then it looks like you're reading. You can really see the eyes. A teleprompter gives you that impression that you know what you're talking about, even though you're reading. Today's project is a DIY teleprompter. It's easy to make and comes in very handy if you do video production. Let's build it. The basis for this DIY teleprompter project is from Make Volume 2 No More Cue Cards by Brian Lawler. I picked up 20 feet of 1x4 pine, making sure each piece was straight, and that'll be used for the stand for the teleprompter. I decided that two 4-foot pieces for the sides would be just about right, so I measured those out and drew a straight line, oh, and don't forget safety glasses, before I skill sawed those pieces up. And the actual feet for the sides will be two feet, so I'm going to cut four two-foot feet out. Now each of the four-foot sides will be sandwiched in between two of the two-foot feet to form a stable base. So after finding the correct location, I'll lay the three pieces of wood together and clamp them together, and I'm going to use two three and a half inch bolts with nuts and washers to secure them. So I'll drill two holes straight through all three pieces, and I'm also going to countersink the holes, and this will allow the heads for the bolts to fit flush. Then I'll run the bolts through and put a washer and a nut on each one, and then I'm going to set it on the floor and use a level just to make sure the upright is perfectly level before I tighten everything down. Okay, the stand for our DIY teleprompter is complete, and now it's time to build our monitor base. I'm using a pre-cut 16 by 20 inch piece of glass, and I'm going to measure it just to make sure it is indeed 16 by 20 on the nose. And then a piece of MDF wood will be cut to that exact size of the glass. The easiest way to mount the monitor base was just to use some plain old L brackets. So I'll draw a line on the uprights and mount each of the brackets and then mount the base to the brackets. All I really had handy was a small 15 inch flat screen monitor, so that'll work for this project, but you might want to use something a little bit larger to match the overall base and glass size. The final piece is the glass, and that'll be mounted at 45 degrees, so I made two marks on both of the uprights. Then I'm going to use some small glass brackets, so I'll mount each of those brackets to the uprights. And the brackets came with these small metal protective pieces with a sticky back, so I'll stick those to the glass just to prevent the glass from cracking when they're screwed in place. Our DIY teleprompter is finished. And you can go online and find a lot of different resources for free teleprompter software. In fact, if you go to freeteleproptersoftware.com, you can get the program that I'm running right here. And it'll mirror the image, it'll flip it in different ways. And basically what you're seeing in there is the reflection of my monitor playing back my script here that came with the software and the camera is behind it. The only thing I did differently is I added uh, a black piece of cloth around the camera uh, just to kind of keep the reflections down. And then it can all be operated from uh, your keyboard. So that's how you build yourself a DIY teleprompter. We'll see you next week with another weekend project.